All right, so um, I am here because I've been watching Family Reunion stuff all day long, and uh, well, there's just been a, a lot going on, and one of the things that I am super jazzed about right this moment is smart plans. Uh, I went in here, I've been playing around in command most of the day to try and figure out what's going on and what's actually happening, and one thing that I noticed is this little new button right here. It's the create button. We can create our own smart plans now. Um, fully customizable. Um, I went in here and I created two of them. I didn't I didn't realize that I wasn't actually streaming to Facebook, so I went through an entire thing, but well it's fine. We'll just roll with it and I know for a fact that I am now. So um I made this one and you can I can edit it. Um I can't fully edit it because I did add a um, a contact to the smart plan um, to see how it works. And so there's a limited editing here, but I can go into the other one here in a minute. So what I did was I created a new task, or I created a new smart plan, and it's for the new app that's coming out on the 18th, which is Tuesday. Um, the app is going to allow you to share your app to social media and um, other places. And so I created a smart plan so that when someone downloads my new app and I receive their information, um, I will add them. As soon as I see that there was a new app download and I have their information, I will um, add them to the smart plan, which is going to be the trigger, is adding someone to a smart plan. Um, and then after one day, so not the first day, but the second day, it's going to send an email. And the email uh, is going to come from my KW account. It's going to look like it does, and then um, the subject's going to be thank you, and then I'm going to say, hey, first name. I'm using these uh, merge fields to automate the content. So this is going to say, oh, it's going to pull the first name from the contact and put it that their name there. So it's going to say, first name, I want to thank you for downloading my app. I'll probably add more in there, but this is just for an example. And then after another one day, I added a second day delay. Then it's going to send a um, a text message from my Twilio account. And it's going to say, hi, first name, this is Brian Collins Realtor. I emailed you yesterday and hope that you found value in my app. Let me know if you have any questions or you want to see a home. And then it has my typical text message uh, signature line there. And then after the third day, it, add a con um, it adds a task to my home screen here. And it says, call, contact, first name, last name. And it says, you, uh, just reminding myself that I emailed them two days ago and texted yesterday. Check if they need your help. And that's it. Um, if I wanted to, I could um, also create a new action. I could maybe add them to a secondary smart plan, um, which is kind of what I did in the second example. So we'll go there. I didn't make any changes here, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, so we made, I made a, a secondary, uh, just a custom smart plan. And this is what I was thinking about for my Facebook leads. If I get a Facebook lead that comes in, I know that it's a Facebook lead because it says inside the um, the timeline that it came from a Facebook ad that I created. So I can add them to this smart plan once they come in. And that's the trigger event. When you add someone, it says to search by name. And um, so I'm going to use Johnny Tester, this guy right here. And then it's going to add to smart plan. And this is the trigger. You want to start now, it's going to trigger it right this minute. Um, or you can start it, let's just say I wanted to start them on Monday. I could choose the, um, a different date to, to start them out on this plan. So it doesn't look like that, um, you know, I'm being too creepy and stalkery. But I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to add anybody to this plan right now. So I can show you the edit features. So the first thing that's going to happen after I trigger the event, which is adding a person to the smart plan. Um, it's going to send a, a, a text message from my Twilio account and it says, thanks for clicking my Facebook ad. Did you find what you're looking for? Just an open-ended question. Hopefully they'll respond to me. If I don't get a response in one day, um, I'm going to send an email that says need help. And it says, I texted you yesterday. I want to make sure that you have all the facts about buying or selling a home. I have a guide that I can send you for free. Would you be interested? Thanks. And then after one day, I am going to add them to my eight by eight new contact plan. Um, or if you really wanted to, you can um, click on restart flow so that it adds them to the eight by eight contact, um, eight by eight. But then also 
it will restart this flow. So then they'll the next day they'll get another email that says, thanks for clicking my Facebook ad. Did you find what you're looking for? Maybe they're like, oh, well, no, I didn't or something. And they'll finally respond to you. Uh, and then it'll delay one more day, send another email, delay one more day, and that's it. It'll just do that. It, will not, it won't add them to another smart plan again because I believe they won't add repeats. But um, So that'll be then. So then, uh, so that, that's one thing that you can do. And now you can create a task, make a call, send an email, um, create a task. It's just a generic task, whatever. Make a call. It's just a task that reminds you to call that person and it, it'll remind you on your Kelly app and all that good stuff. Um, you can send an email, which is an automated email, so you don't have to actually do anything. You fill out exactly what you want to say right away. Uh, send a text message. That's what this is here. You can send a static text message or there's dynamic. Um, if you repeat if you repeat text messages, so text one would be this one. So the first time it goes through, it'll send this one. So this one would be a really good if you want to repeat your thing. So text number two. Hey, first name. Let's say haven't heard back from you. Are you still looking to buy or sell a home? Let me know. And then my signature. So there we go. <clears throat> so now the first time that it goes through, it's going to send number one text. And then the second time it goes through, it's going to send number two text. But it's still going to delay one day and then send the same email. Um, so, yeah, and that's fine. That's that's fine, but I like that. Uh, you can set a delay again. You can select um, day, delays um, are customizable. You can select one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, or six days. Um, oh, oh, it's a maximum of 30 uh, so delays, you can select um, up to 30 days delay. So if you just want a one a month, you know, touch, email, text message, you know, whatever, uh, you can do that up to 30 days. And then the reflow, the, re the restart, the flow, so you can repeat this one time, two time, three time, four time, five times, up to six times, or just unlimited. If it's not going to repeat six times, you, it'll just repeat unlimited times. I mean, how awesome is that? So that's that's that. So let's take a look real quick at the eight by eight because this is um, a fifty day touch. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, cannot restart a plan. Smart plan that is less than fifteen days long. All right. So oh, unlimited. I don't need to do that. I just want to repeat it once. Repeat one time. Maximum one days. So oh, I don't need one day. There we go. Okay. Let's save that. Cannot restart a smart plan that is less than 15 days long. Oh, so to restart it has to be more than 15 days. Okay, I, I see what I see what they're saying. So that's fine. We don't need to. I don't even need to restart it. Um, or you know what? Let's just do five days and then um, do in five. Oh no, yeah, five days. So what are we at? Day 11 now. As the smart plan, let's add another delay down here. There we go. Set a delay for five days. There we go. So now we're at 15 days. So this should be able to save. Boom. Done. So this is our custom, and I'm going to rename this. Um, this is going to be for Facebook ad leads because these aren't people that I've, I've talked to yet. These are just leads. So let's just do that. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Let's do it. Okay, so Facebook leads. Um, so this is the 8x8. Eight eight. Now, if you're in your smart plans, most likely you have to go to library first. Um, this is where all of the smart plans are being kept currently. Um, and then you add them. When you add them, it says add smart plan here. Um, so like right here, the home anniversary, this is a cool one. You hit apply. Oh, uh, I must have already had it. Okay, so... Uh, birthday, probably eight by long term. I, probably, I think I have all of these actually at that open house follow up. No, I already have that one. So once you add them, they move from your from your library to the My Smart Plans. 
And then you're from here, this is where you can edit them, add people. You can copy them if you like the way that it works, but you're not 100% sure or you're not 100% on some of the, the, the things wherever you want to manipulate them a little bit. You can copy it. So the My Open House follow-up, you can copy this one, create a new one, and then modify it to your liking or just modify this one, however you want to do it. So for My Open House follow-up, you this is going to be something at, at an open house you can collect information and then right after the open house you add them to a smart you add them to your command contacts and then you add them to this smart plan so they're going to get a text message that says hey thanks for coming by what do you think of the open house um, and then in one day there's going to say send an email which now that we actually have emails you can you can just create an email that it'll automatically send. You don't have to create a task that says send email. Um, so this this task right here, I would I would replace this task by um, I believe the little knobs are at the bottom for each. So create a task for an email. Um, uh, let's see. So I'm going to copy this real quick, but I'm going to delete this task. Yep, I want to remove task. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to send email. It's going to put it at the bottom. Yep, it's going to put it at the bottom. So I'm going to move it up. And then this is going to be probably a little bit more tedious than some people would like. And then I'm just going to keep moving it up until it's task number three again. Oops, I think I moved the wrong one up. Yep. Task number three. There we go. Hold on, almost there. Uh, where's the email at? Okay, so we're at five. Here we go, number four. So boom, right here. Okay, so task number three is now one day, and then it's going to send an email, and then here goes your email. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you at the open house. Um, as part, okay. So we're just going to put nice to meet you. At the open house. Um, let's see. So there's a one day delay. So it would be yesterday. Um, I hope you... Love the layout. If not, let me know what would better suit you. Looking forward to talking about it. So that way they want to maybe say, oh, I didn't really like that two story. I want something with no stairs. So now we have a two day delay and then make a phone call. So here's going to be a um, task to make a phone call. And then we're going to set three day delay and then we're going to send a, t a text message. Now, if you've already contacted them and you know, everything happened, you have to rem remove them because otherwise if you just set it and forget it, um, which is not the best way to do business, um, you're going to want to have, you know, you're going to want to touch this and make sure that you, um, update this. So again, this is open house. So we'll just go ahead and save this. That was a little fun to update something. Again, I've never done this before, and let's go to the 8x8. Day. I think I may have already gone to the 8x8. So it's a 50-day touch. It's 50 days, 15 steps, 7 touches. So it's not really a – I mean, 8 by 8 I thought it was supposed to be uh, 8 touches in 8 weeks. So, I mean, I guess in 50 days it's pretty close. So it's going to immediately send a, con uh, a text. In seven days, it's going to create a task to send an email. So that's, again, another email thing you're going to have to set so you can send your own email. Seven days, it's going to make a phone call. Uh, seven days is going to remind you to make a phone call. After seven days, it's going to send another text message. After seven days, it's going to automatically add them to the monthly neighborhood smart plan. Now, what's really cool about this is that this eight by eight after 50 days will end, but then they will continue to get your, your neighborhood smart plans. And all you had to do is add them to one smart plan. And now they're going to get a full year's worth of touches. Um, that's, that's phenomenal. And that's so easy for almost everybody to do. Um, 
And then even if you don't have their email address, even or I'm sorry, not their email address, even if you don't have their physical address so that you can name them a specific neighborhood, you can go in and just put a local, you know, neighborhood. And maybe they go, hey, that's not my area. And then you go, okay, what's your address? And then you can update it and then they'll start getting the correct monthly uh, neighborhood touches. And then after seven days, you get send another phone call. And then basically these are just to make sure that you um, like you know all of these uh, that so that they like all these things and then if they contact you earlier and they're going hey hey like we're we're not really in the market we were just looking like we're we're done with this you can just throw them off the off the smart plan and and fin say it's finished and um it's no big deal anyways so this is just a kind of a brief overview we'll be going over this a lot over the next few weeks i'm sure so please um leave any comments that you've got i would love to hear them any concerns um Tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the morning, we're going to be having the uh, Vision Speech live streamed at the Market Center. So come on in and, um, you know, uh, get there early if you want. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>